trying to see if I like this because it's like So something I have been doing a lot more is streaming. I mean, I've been streaming for almost three years now. Well, probably by the time you're watching this video, it should have passed my three year affiliate anniversary on Twitch. But I, I've been streaming a lot more this past year, especially due to some games I've been low key addicted to um, and just some storylines I have created in some of my other like long time favorite games and also my community has grown my discord has grown um just like i feel like just the i don't know i just feel like the vibe of my community has just gotten better and i feel like we're much closer and just have great times together so i think it's why streaming has become a lot more enjoyable for me i just really have been putting more time into it so i actually plan a lot more now um, i'm gonna actually show you because i plan a lot on my uh, notion for this I use notion for everything I use notion so much now it's actually kind of insane I'm not gonna lie it's kind of insane but I love it I love feeling so like I could just brain dump a lot of the time so it's great for that but I could show you guys real quick what I've been planning and what I'm actually currently doing for my twitch channel and yeah we'll get into that real quick real quick because I do it in a way monthly because I do plan out my stream schedule for the month I'm not saying that I 100% follow it and commit to it 100% but I do try to follow it um because my, my my community knows that I do be late some nights and everything but I do try to do that in the beginning of the month and then like week by week I plan out which streams I want to do and like what I want to focus on in the streams or like what game I'm playing or whatever currently I am doing a love island challenge for my sims and which has been very fun very interesting to watch play out and I play a lot for that because I feel like a love island producer <laughs> I feel like a showrunner especially because I'm such a big fan of the show that's one of my guilty pleasure reality tv shows and I have had so much fun playing it in the sims if you want to watch I'll put my twitch channel on the, the screen right now but let me show you real quick in my notion so this is my notion page for my twitch like yeah like i said i basically track everything in relation to my twitch so like anything i'm doing for stream or stuff that i just want to dump down i also keep track of my goals for growth and well merch that is hopefully coming soon hopefully if i could get it together um but i did want to show you guys real quick what I've been doing for my Love Island um, <laughs> plan but basically I have all the islanders that are like the sims that are coming into the show little by little and I've planned that out and I'm not gonna show that because I know some of my perps watch my YouTube channel so I'm not spoiling that for them but I can quickly show you guys the show plan which has already kind of already happened so they already know about this but basically I went day by day or let's just say episode by episode based on what they're gonna what was gonna happen who you know came in or whatever who's gonna get dumped how many people are gonna get dumped how they're gonna get dumped uh if they had dates if they had challenges if they i don't know if the perps had to vote so when i say perps my that's my community on twitch but basically i had oh they had to vote on who was gonna go on a date with them or um this is like when they're getting dumped um i also have it so like i know which one of my community people did the sim that's coming in so but this planning was very in-depth and it really helped me to get very detailed with this because when i was streaming it was just really easy to have a plan for the actual stream because instead of just having everything happen it helped me when i did this but i have to do more planning because there's stuff below this that I'm not trying to show. But I have to do some more planning and that's what I was going to do today. But as you guys can see over here, this is where the rest of my stuff lives. I do a monthly brain dump now, which is pretty helpful um, in the sense of planning out what I want to do for that day. If I'm going to stream, if I have to film something for YouTube or TikTok or, you know, shoot something for Instagram or anything like that. Um, any just like random to-dos for those days, I have that. So this is what I do on a monthly basis in the sense of a brain dump. 
and it's been very helpful for me because I'm used to just having to do's but this having like it's separated like this per day has been very helpful and it kind of makes me want to finish stuff so I don't have to drag it to another day because I've definitely had to do that but basically as you can see I have events today so if something is happening that day I list that here then I have to do streams to film to edit to upload of course I still use my calendar religiously definitely use my calendar religiously <laughs> and that is what usually drives this in the beginning like when I do this week by week so I do this on a Sunday night usually I literally use my calendar to do the events to see to do's to do all that so I still use my calendar very religiously but this is more so to track everything on a day to day and use to do's to kind of get stuff done so I like jotting all this stuff down dumping everything down I put my streams in here when I'm gonna have stream I also, when I'm doing to film, to edit, to upload, it's great for me to track when I need to film, when I need to upload, and when I need to edit, you know, content, especially editing, because I always procrastinate that, so that's really good, but yeah, this is kind of what I do. Hey. Trips that you plan for the next whole week, been too long for so cheap and your flex so deep, your sex so deep, you got it girl, you got it, hey. you got it girl, you got it, yeah, pretty little thing, you got to pay it, now you wildin', you just took it off the line, no mileage, way they hitting you, the damn looking violent, talking while you come around and now you silent, flew the Cooper 17, no guidance, you be staying low, but you know what the fight is. Ain't never got you know it being modest. Poppin' shit, but only cause you know you poppin'. Mm, yeah. You got it, girl, you got it. Hey. You got it, girl, you got it.
All right, y'all. Me and Deb are here in the city today. Oh, you glow! You're glowing! Oh, you glowing! <laughs> we just finished. Fin we just finished. Wow! <coughs> wow! We just finished taking pictures in Bryant Park, as you can see over here. You can see the, the umbrella. But um, we just been out today, had some brunch, and ends up going to Rise, New York, and now we're just kind of walking around. So it's a cute little day out in the city, hanging with friends. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, did you say anything? having a just finished a 12 hour stream <laughs> crazy crazy it's 2 41 i finished at 2 because it was 2 p.m to 2 a.m and this was in celebration of my three-year affiliate anniversary on twitch being a twitch affiliate means you make you know money off of subs and all that stuff on twitch so it's been three years of me getting affiliate so I try to celebrate it every year. We did have, I did have a celebration for my two year last year and that was fun, but I did it over two days. I didn't do it in one sitting of 12 hours. So this year was the first time I did a 12 hour stream. The first time I've ever done a 12 hour stream. And it was pretty good actually, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really feel too tired because I switched up games, which was good. I had some times where I was playing with my viewers and my, my members of my Discord community and all of that. So it was good in that respect. So it was like nice mix of stuff instead of me just playing by myself the entire time. Also, I got up to eat and I also went to the bathroom. So it was good to, for me to get up and walk around, but it was not bad at all. It was not bad at all. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more difficult than it was and I honestly wasn't. So that was really good to, to, to know and, and, <laughs> and see for myself. But yeah, my ring is on the floor cause it just fell off, but we just finished. Makeup is still still intact. I'm filming this on my phone, by the way. So yeah, we're just about to go take this makeup off now and go to bed. I wanted to wear my contacts today because I haven't worn my contacts in stream in a very long time. I don't always do my makeup for stream. Well, most of the time I don't do my makeup for stream because it's just me chilling, you know? Once in a while, I'll have makeup on. And today I was like, let me do makeup. And now I gotta go take it off. And I don't know if I feel like doing that. I also have my blue light with me i love these blue light i really wish i would have been able to put my actual prescription in these glasses but i by dark didn't want me to so i got them in blue light anyway and i put them on for a little bit of my stream today because just in case my eyes start getting tired from looking at the screen the whole time but i only left it on for like a little bit <laughs> so what's i don't even know if i brought them out this this was this was the chill fit green little bodysuit i don't remember where i got it from but probably it's old i know it's for i know for a fact it's old but yeah i just wanted to say hi and give an update and now it's time to go to bed bye y'all <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank
right y'all so i'm ending my vlog off when i was leaving my gyno appointment i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog i know it was a little all over the place with me not even filming an intro or an outro so yeah as you can see this is how my fun employment is going but i hope you guys enjoyed leave a like comment subscribe all that good stuff bye y'all